Hello everyone, I'm Si Wen Hui, metric number 264793. I'm going to present my individual assignment of remuneration and rewards management. Introduction I have chosen two jobs in Bosch to evaluate. Bosch is a German multinational engineering and technology company. It is headquartered in Jolingen, near Stuttgart, Germany. It is founded by Robert Bosch in Stuttgart in 1886. And Bosch has been present in Malaysia since 1923. Represented by Robert Bosch Sendiran Berhad with offices located in Selangor and Penang. In Malaysia, Bosch is active in the areas of mobility solutions, industrial technology, consumer goods, and energy and building technology. It has three manufacturing plants in Penang, providing car multimedia, power tools, and automotive steering systems. One of the job is Senior Human Resource Manager. It is a job in managerial group and is under Human Resource Department. The function of this senior management role is to guide and manage human resources services for the company. Another job is maintenance staff. It is a job in support group and it is under maintenance or engineering department. It is also known as repair worker, fix and maintain mechanical equipment, buildings and machines. Next is job analysis part. So these are the job descriptions for Senior Human Resource Manager. The job specifications. Next is the job descriptions for maintenance staff. The job specifications for maintenance staff. Next is the job evaluation part. Based on the job analysis of the senior human resource manager, four compensable factors are selected which are skill, responsibility, effort, and working condition. The skill is rated 60% because a senior human resource manager needs a series of skills to deal with various situations. It is comprised of education, experience, and interpersonal skill and are rated at 20% each. The education factor is skillful because a strong knowledge in the related functional areas is important for a successful senior human resource manager. For example, this job requires an education of bachelor's degree in HR-related field in order to handle the job responsibilities such as overall responsibility for HR budget, personal cost structure, and workforce planning at location. The experience factor is guilt five because related work experience is essential for a senior human resource manager to man demonstrate an ability to organize, manage, and lead others. For example, this job requires at least 10 years of working experience in HR-related field and experience in managing all aspects of HR functions, preferably in manufacturing industry as well. The interpersonal skills factor is skill at 4 because a senior human resource manager needs strong interpersonal skills such as leadership skills to lead the HR department. As an example, this job requires confidence and ability to build relationships at all levels of the organizations. The responsibility factor is rated at 20% as it has the potential to bring bad impact to the, to the company. It is comprised of accountability and supervision. Both of the sub-factors are rated at 10% and have a degree of 4 each. The accountability factors is skilled for because senior managers must be aware of the impact of their decisions and actions on staff. They need to accept responsibility for both the positive and negative results of their decisions and actions. For example, senior human resource manager needs to ensure compliance for local laws, regulations, and local HR requirements in order to avoid fines or penalties 
else it will cause bad impact to the company's reputation. The supervision factor is scaled at four because this job requires to supervise the HR department and its activities by reviewing their performance, employee feedback, and so on. The effort is weighted at 10% because a senior human resource manager needs to put effort into understanding the needs and goals of the company and provide solutions for the problems related to human resource. It is comprised of concentration and problem solving with weight of 5% for each. The concentration factor has a degree of 3 because this job conducts a number of different tasks at the same time and a good concentration is required while performing these multiple tasks. The problem solving factors has a degree of 5 because this job takes a role of negotiation partner for union representative and it is responsible for all grievance and discipline handling. The working condition is rated at 10% as a positive working environment improved productivity. It is comprised of environment with rate of 10%. The environment factor is scaled at 2 because a senior human resource manager usually needs to work in a pleasant office setting as they spend a lot of time talking on phone and in meetings. This is the table for the job evaluation of senior human resource manager. It has a total points of 400. Based on the job analysis of the maintenance staff, Four compensable factors are selected, which are skill, effort, responsibility, and working conditions. The skill is rated 45% because they need a various of skills to handle numerous maintenance and repair issues. It is comprised of three sub-factors which are weighted at 15% each. The education has a degree of 1 because a maintenance staff must be well versed in mechanical drawing, blueprint reading, and mathematics and also needs to have essential computer skills. For example, this job requires an education of degree in electrical engineering or mechanical engineering or equivalent or higher, and literacy in computer usage. The experience factor is skilled at 3 because working experience shows that a maintenance staff's practical application of theoretical knowledge in real world. For example, this job requires a minimum of two years of proven track record of working experience in a related working environment. The technical skill is skilled at 5 because as many maintenance staff need to have a good technical skills to perform routine maintenance on equipment and determining when and what kind of maintenance is needed. The effort is weighted at 20% because this job requires effort to focus on preventing machines failure and to take actions if there are any emergencies happen on the machines or equipment. It is comprised of physical and mental with weight of 10% for each and have a degree of 4 for each. The physical effort is scaled at 4 because this job will be exposed to constant activity that requires intermittent standing, bending, crouching, pushing or pulling, lifting or carrying light to heavy weight equipment, climbing ladders or stairs, and so on. The mental effort is skilled at 4 as a maintenance staff must be able to read and write in English at intermediate level to read diagrams, meters, instructions, write reports, and many more. In addition, independent judgment is used regularly to determine the actions to be taken in response to priority and emergency situations. Response. The responsibility is weighted at 20% because it will have a direct impact on the productivity if machine failure happens due to the irresponsibility of maintenance staff. It is comprised of safety regulations and training with weight of 10% for each. The safety regulations factors has a degree of 4 because a maintenance staff must guarantee that a proper all property and machinery remain up to safety standards to prevent accidents from happening. The training factor is skilled at 5 because a maintenance will receive on the job training or some short training courses to boost skills in more advanced areas. The working conditions is weighted at 15% because maintenance staff normally exposed to different risks while performing their job tasks. It is comprised of hazards with weight of 15%. The hazards factor is scaled at 2 because maintenance is a risky activity with specific hazards and risks and this include 
working alongside a running process and in close contact with machinery. A maintenance staff will have light to moderate exposure to injuries. So this is the table for the job evaluation for, of the maintenance staff. It has a total point of 335. Next is the market survey part. The salary range of senior human resource manager. According to job store salary report 2018 or 2019, the salary range is between 10,000 ringgit to 16,000 ringgit based on 7 to 15 years of experience. According to Caddy Services Malaysia salary report, it is between 9,000 ringgit to 20,000 ringgit based on 8 to 10 years of experience. According to JobStreet.com 2019 salary report, the range is between 10,570 ringgit to 15,816 ringgit for Northern region. A salary of 15,000 ringgit is recommended for this job which is which it is in higher range because it requires at least 10 years of experience in HR related field and it also requires many interpersonal skills to handle a various of tasks. The salary, the salary range of a maintenance staff. According to Jobstreet.com 2019 salary report, it is between 2,603 ringgit to 3,644 ringgit for Northern region. According to Job Store Salary Report 2018 or 2019, it is between 2,500 ringgit to 5,000 ringgit based on 2 to 5 years of experience. According to Kelly Services Malaysia Salary Report, it is between 4,000 ringgit to 6,500 ringgit based on 4 to 6 years of experience. The job of maintenance staff deserves a salary of 2,700 ringgit, which it is in a lower range because it requires a minimum of two years working experience in related working environment and also requires some technical skills to perform the job tasks. Next is the job structure. Based on the job evaluation, it has found that the job of senior human resource manager has 400 points while the job of maintenance staff has 335 points. The job of senior human resource manager is more important than the job of maintenance staff. Therefore, the position of senior human resource manager should be in the higher level in the organizational chart as compared to the position of maintenance staff. This is the organizational chart of the two jobs, which the senior human resource manager is in a higher level. Conclusion So in conclusion, the job of senior human resource manager is more important than the job of maintenance staff as the senior human resource manager has a higher point than the maintenance staff based on the job evaluation. Furthermore, the position of senior human resource manager deserves a higher level than the position of maintenance staff in the organizational chart. In addition, the senior human resource manager deserves a salary of 15,000 ringgit and the maintenance staff deserves a salary of 2,700 ringgit based on the job requirements for the both jobs. These are the references for my assignment. Okay, that's all from me. Thank you for watching.